hello friends how's it going so today i am coming up with an update video and this video is also an announcement for a series and in this series i'll be showing the internals of uh, android's most uh, powerful uh, networking uh, library which is also like the most used that like, networking library right of it and uh, we are going to learn it by uh, rebuilding this series from scratch and there are some goals to to this and the non goals also and let's discuss the goals first so the number of first goal is get an understanding of networking and how network calls happen the second goal is uh, learn how to create a library in android and the third goal is learn how retrofit is designed now there are also some non goals uh, for this thing so the first non goal is we do not want to create an alternative to re retrofit we only want to learn how retrofit is implemented number 2 is we don't be we won't be tackling all the edge cases of networking that retrofit is retrofit does uh, the goal uh, remember the goals again uh, the goal is to learn api design learn how networking happens in retrofit and learn how to uh, create a library uh, in android uh now that we are clear on the terms let's go the structure of the uh, series so uh this series will be of eight parts we start with the basics of making network calls and build it up uh, into a retrofit like library now there is a part one uh, which is a uh, pure java networking and in this part one we will be constructing the urls opening the connection to the server how does http interface with uh, java's uh, io streams and uh, finally we'll be making a simple get request uh, in this uh, part now comes the second part which is building a http client now retrofit actually uses a library uh, for networking uh, which is uh, okay http which is also from square now uh, we will build a small version of okay http uh, which is uh, used by retrofit however uh, the api will be completely different uh, this is something alternative to okay http that we are uh, going to make here and this is because we want to learn more about networking also and this http client will support most http methods though the main focus will only be on a uh, cred which is uh, get post put and delete and the final point will be uh, we abstract these things out into uh, for a generic http utility uh, and uh, this is kind of like axios but will be in java now comes the part 3 introducing proxies now these proxies are not the networking proxies but java proxies and in this part we'll be discussing about what are proxies number 2 a uh, dynamic proxy creation for uh, service uh, interfaces uh, which is nothing but code generation at one time uh, remember how uh, we just create an interface we pass that interface to retrofit and retrofit uh, creates an implementation of the uh, uh, api for us and this is exactly what is going on under the hood this is going through something called as a proxy and that is what we'll be discussing in this part 3 now comes the fact four uh which is annotation processing at runtime now uh we wanted to create a uh, runtime code generation we understand uh how code generation uh, happens at runtime how to create proxies uh, how to handle different method invocations on uh, services and all uh, but now there are some annotations uh with retrofit users to create the library right when we annotate each method whether this is a get method uh, get request this is in uh uh this is a put request uh, this is a you know uh, all this kind of uh, request and we also have uh, other annotations or uh, path parameters and all this stuff and this part in this part four we'll be dealing about annotation processing at one time so there are three steps in this one uh, which is creating different annotations in our library uh, resolving http method using reflection and three uh, we have will be discussing about some thoughts on service method builder and now comes the part 5 in this part 5 uh, we'll be discussing about the service method uh, builder and we will start implementation and the first thing here is uh, process annotations on a service method uh, so 
we have discussed annotations and uh, the theory on how annotations could be processed in part four. And in part five, we'll keep that to implementation. We take uh, all the annotations on a service method in a uh, service interface. We see all the annotations and we process them. We create a service method. And in order to do that, we employ the builder pattern here. And this is what the service method builder does. And we will also briefly take a look into network calls and caching. Now comes the part six. Now uh, in part six, we'll be adding an API uh, for uh, pluggable type converters. So this type converters is actually what makes uh, retrofit uh, uh, stand out from uh, its other competitors. Like, uh, let's say we give a data class, for example, as a return type, and uh, retrofit automatically figures out how to you know um, build that, uh, uh, populate all the fields in that data class and create that uh, data class based on the from the JSON response that we are passing to it. And this is possible because of this type converters. And some popular type converters in use are JSON, uh, or uh, for JSON are uh, the JSON library and Moshi. There are also other type converters, but uh, we will be fo uh, focusing on Moshi, for example, for, uh, in this series. Now, uh, in, in this part, we will be cre creating this type converters interface. Uh, we'll be integrating uh, this interface into our proxy uh, for uh, dynamic uh, return type resolution. And we also create the mock type uh, mock type converter for testing. Now comes the part seven, uh, which the title of this part is an example type converter. Now the first thing, build a type converter using Moshi. Number two, use it uh, in our demo application. And now we are reaching for the part eight, and this part is called Kotlin extensions. So we in this part we will be uh, discussing our API, how we can uh, improvise the API, and so far we will be working in uh, you know uh, an API which is uh, dedicated for Java just like Retrofit does. And now in this uh, part we'll be discussing uh, you know what are the different uh, Kotlin specific uh, extensions that we can make. And to so that uh, it will make the life easier for uh, uh, Kotlin developers out there, and we also add support for you know suspend functions and in service interfaces. Now, uh, after all this series, it all depends on uh, your uh, the response I get, and if I get the proper response and if I get uh, you know uh, enough response that uh, continues to motivate me, I'll be making a bonus video uh, which is publishing the library. So in this bonus video, we'll be uh, creating uh, Maven publications. We will understand the Maven architecture, and we will discuss on uh, how this uh, Maven hosting uh, happens. And we'll be hosting a Maven repository using GitHub Pages because GitHub Pages is totally free and uh, is the easiest way to uh, get started for uh, the libraries. And also, if time permits, we'll be having a discussion uh, about other available options like. Uh, Sonotype Nexus or Zfrog or etc. So that's just for uh, this update video, guys. Uh, I hope uh, you are interested in this series. Let me know uh, if you have any suggestions uh, or let me know what you wanted to do and all these things. Let me know. So thank you for watching. And this series is kind of like uh, an important thing for me. So. If you want to help me out, uh, click that like button. And if you don't want to help, that is also fine. If there is something uh, that doesn't uh, you know, interest you, or if there is something that you didn't like about this video, the dislike button also seems to work fine on YouTube. But please uh, make sure to help me by you know, uh, telling me through a comment on why you, you dislike this video and what didn't you like this video. And it would be uh, even more appreciative if you can uh, uh, if if you can show what uh, exactly can I do to improvise that. So thank you for watching, guys. Thank you. See ya. Bye.